Hey Gemini, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for August 2018. So before we jump in here, Gemini, the Astrology 101 Basics class that kicks off in September is open for registration right now and it closes August 25th. So if you'd like to take that five-week class with moi, go ahead and get signed up um, in the description box down below or come visit me at stormygrace.com. All right, Gemini, so this month we've already got a heck of a lot of retrograde energy that is coming into the month with us from last month. Now, some things are going to go direct, but your ruling planet is one of the planets we're coming into the month with it being in retrograde. And here's the thing, when your ruling planet is retrograde, it can kind of feel like like a wiggly world, you know what I mean? Maybe things are not exactly solid. Now for many of you Geminis, I will tell you that I actually feel like this particular retrograde was probably so delicious for you. It probably actually got you going back to some ideas or some projects or some something that you've been doing, working on, thinking about whatever, um, and starting to pull them forward. And that's because Mercury's been retrograde in the very vocal sign of Leo, so lighting up your third house. This is a communication house, a decision-making house. Now, while I don't know if you've made any terribly huge decisions, I think you have certainly gone back over some things and re-edited them in your life or rethought them. So bringing up these projects to communicate outwardly um, from the past seems to be a trend that was going on for Gemini's for sure, and I think it was very, very strong for you. Now, here's the other part of this retrograde still being this way, though, is that it still can cause these mishaps for you, especially because it is in your third house. Now, I will tell you, if you have siblings, you're trying to sign a contract, you're trying to do something like that, you could find yourself running into more misunderstandings than you would care for. I would say, because this is still not the forward motion month, if you can just wait, let it get to the end of the month before you sign that contract. Let it just stop trying to force something forward. If it's not kind of flowing in there, back off. You can make different decisions at the end of the month, okay? Because here's what I don't want for you, Gemini. I don't want you to be out there making these decisions, sharing all this wonderful communication energy, and something is so inaccurate that it actually um, rubs up against your reputation in a way that you would not want to be happening, okay? Now, we have also got here at the very, very beginning of the month, we have got Venus moving into the sign of Libra on the 6th. This is wonderful because this brings a sense of harmony. And I think that this brings a sense of harmony to a lot of the information that you've been sharing, finding your own voice, finding your passion, finding your place in the world, maybe something having to do with some new beginnings. You're feeling calmer about it. You're feeling like maybe you don't have all the clarity around it yet, Gemini, but you do have have a sense of, okay, okay, this is how I move this passionately forward, right? So it will be an energy that you'll definitely get to use all the way until September. So beautiful. Now on the 7th, we've got Uranus going retrograde in the sign of Taurus. And for you, this is putting that retrograde energy here in your 12th house. Now Uranus has been coming, shaking things up, really helping us change directions, get out of the rut that we're in. And I do feel like with Uranus going retrograde in your 12th house, you may be going back to make peace one more time with something that was back there. You may also be going back into this 12th house space with Uranus here, creating surprise energy, boom energy. And you're pulling out a project from the past. You're pulling out a relationship from the past. You're pulling out something from the past and it may take the next retrograde months to completely unfold. But I do believe that it is ultimately in your benefit moving forward, okay? On the 11th, we've got a new moon partial solar eclipse happening in that sign of Leo where Mercury is also retrograde. So this third house space. So the third house, the communications in your life, and you're already our communication sign, are really, really on go. Now, there's a high level of potential for you, Gemini, I think, um, at this solar eclipse because this is where we plant the seeds of intention for the new with having Mercury there, there is a chance that I think you could have an offer, a project, or some kind of significant communication blowing through your world and coming your way. But I will again caution you, if you can just wait until after the 19th, be careful if you can't. But if you can wait to say something, make big decisions, things like that, I think it would be best for you, okay? Okay. 
Now, as we get to the 12th, we see Mars rocking back here from this Aquarian energy back into Capricorn. So lighting up some space now in his retrograde energy in your eighth house. So this is, I have this indication that maybe you've been trying to get a connection, Gemini. You've been trying to connect or collaborate with somebody, or maybe you've been trying to get a loan, or you've, you, you've been trying to do something with finances or a joint resource, right? Some place where you are intimately connected to another person person, place, or thing, and, and the umph hasn't quite, quite been there, right? The other thing I think about is now, if there's been something, let's say you own a business or in your personal home finances, where the finances have been just a little bit off, this may be a really nice energy with Mars retrograde here to relook at the um, actions you're taking around your finances or your joint resources. So I would definitely tell you if you can look at that. Oh, this is debt energy as well. You may be paying off something or getting ready to pay off something. Okay. The 19th Mercury goes um, direct over here in the sign of Leo. So now all that communication is moving forward. You're really sharing with us. Keep in mind though that even though Mercury is direct, he's not completely ready to be super friendly and useful yet. Give him a couple days and the shadow period doesn't end until September 2nd. So you may feel a little bit of lag or you may come to the end here as we get closer to September 2nd and you may go, whoa, where did my mojo go? It's okay, the energies are just changing directions. You maybe have to work through, talk through something, but ultimately it comes out in your favor on the other side, okay? On the 23rd, the sun moves over into Virgo. Boom, chicka boom. It is lighting, lighting, lighting up your fourth house space, right? So this could be something domestic. Maybe you're moving your house. You're happy with your house. It's just like home feels good again. Maybe you feel good in your own home space, right? This could also be something connected to family. I mean, you had all of this retrograde energy in your message sector. So maybe there's been conversations with siblings and maybe you're doing something with a family house or something like that. Now on the 26th, we've got the full moon happening in Pisces and the full moon says we have to end something, acknowledge something or adjust it. So we're having a shift here. Okay. And this one is at the very top of your chart in that mid heaven space up here. So career, reputation, soul level calling, the place where you own a voice of authority, things like that. Right? So for me, with the full moon happening here, I feel like a piece of your professional life is going to completely fall off. It's going to end. There's a time for you, Gemini, professionally that's over. It's time for the advent uh, and acknowledgement and adjustment of being something else out into the world, likely because you spent this retrograde period um, figuring out, gathering research, what makes you relevant, what's you, what do you want to do, what's the direction you want to take this thing in, whether it be a business or your life or your belief system, whatever it is for you, you're going to be having a shift to your soul level purpose. So I think that this is a beautiful energy to be ending the month on um, because it gives you the capacity to understand you do not have to have the life someone else thought for you. You don't even have to have the life that you thought for you. You can have the life you've actually dreamed of. And so this is a great space for that, okay? It could also get somebody in a position of authority off your back for a little bit. So if you've got some struggles there, that may be a great thing for you. Now at the end of the month, we've got Mars coming out of retrograde. Thank you very much. We can get forward, uh, get ready to moving our energies forward as we end the month and definitely as we pick up speed throughout September, October, and we end the year, okay? So get ready for your forward motion of action, and you've been using this retrograde time well, so you've gathered your research. It's like the universe had to grab you, pull you back, so that when it lets that arrow go, you can really fly, okay? It's going to be a great month, Gemini. I hope you keep me posted down below in the description box. I look forward to seeing you in appointments. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, most certainly, and I will see you in the next video, all right? Bye!